What is up guys, it is Nisho here, and let's just get straight to the point, man. With this new Six Samurai uh, support shown, you know, it really just begs the question uh, for the TCG Konami, like where, when are we gonna get Gateway back? I said where. When are we getting Gateway back to three? Because honestly, it's kind of silly that we haven't had Gateway for so long and Japan has it at three, and they're doing fine. I mean, this is even before Link Format, you know, it's been, almost a few years now and we still haven't gotten gateway back i mean i've made a video uh a bandless discussion once i said you know tcg konami is scared you know it's like they were scared to bring back gateway for some reason um did they think we would abuse it you know and i i guess it's because they probably thought that we would they, they, they were probably scared of it um scared of its potential uh but it's not anything game breaking you know anymore it's been power creep you know, especially uh last format where um, the loops weren't really as strong. Maybe now because we have link monsters or we're getting link monsters um, You know the whole thing with uh, summoning a six samurai then searching a six samurai and then summoning another six samurai then searching a six samurai You know especially with uh, cards like he's on um, And looping uh, cards like that could definitely I could definitely see the bad thing um, The things that can go wrong with that, but it's like in Japan is fine. You don't see six samurais in a meta <laughs> It's like they have three gateway um, they have three of everything. I, I, I don't, I don't know if they have three Rota or not, but if they do, then, you know, it just show, it just goes to show exactly like how little this actually affects the metagame. And with this new six samurai support shown, it kind of, you know, it, it kind of gets to a point where, okay, now Konami has no reason not to bring Gateway back. And, um... The reason why I'm saying that is because, you know, they want this new stuff to sell, right? Look at what they did with uh, Pendulum e uh, Evolution. You know, uh, m we all know how in Link Era, moving forward, um, Pendulum decks are kind of getting nerfed a bit and it's going to be hard to play them. I don't think they're going to be unplayable, but it's definitely going to be harder to play them because they won't be able to make as much of a comeback um, as they were once used to, you know, you, you know when we could Pendulum five monsters from our extra deck simply because, you know, uh, we had five monsters in the extra deck. Now, we can only Pendulum summon one and, you know, however many uh, link points you have open. You know, if you don't have any open, no summoning from the extra deck, only from the hand. And, you know, although it's not the biggest deal in the world, um, it definitely does hinder um, how Pendulum decks have to play moving forward. And uh, what they did was they just bring back Wisdom Eye and Pendulum Call to three. You know, they didn't even like second guess it. They're just like, oh, okay, so we're making Pendulum Domination and uh, we're just gonna give you all your Magician cards back because we think, okay, we understand uh, it's not as good as it once was. And uh, you, you'll probably only have like a month to play a full power before you're forced to the rules, to conform to the rules of Link Era. And, um, you know, it's, it's just like that, like like seeing that kind of just makes me understand, you know, it's like Konami only cares about bringing stuff back, or the TCG Konami anyway, only really cares about bringing stuff back if it's going to get get them some sort of benefit, you know, for cards in a future set, or, you know, that we know is going to be a future set, you know. And um, hopefully this next ban list in August is really, since we've already seen the Six Samurai support, um, the next ban list in August starts to like maybe bring back gateway to one and then you know um the ban list after that could bring gateway to two or or just jump it up to three after that because um i don't really think gate uh say bringing back gateway at a time like this could be too dangerous you know it's it's no it's, it's been power creep it's it's not hard to stop you know ghost ogre exists um ghost dash exists you know um there's definitely a lot of cards that can stop it, and there always has been, but, you know, like, even now, it's it's a lot more, like, those cards are a lot more prominent. It's like, everybody, everybody's using Ghost Oak, everybody's using Ghost Dash, everybody, well, a, a good number of people are still using Twin Twisters and Cosmic Cyclones, and, you know, Shien can only negate monster effects, you know, uh, Musikani Magatama, not everybody's gonna use that, um, and you won't always have a Solemn Strike as well, so... Gateway is pretty balanced, you know, in the format that it is that, that that it's in. You know, even some of the best cards, 
you know, like True Draco cards did, they're even uh, susceptible to uh, cards like Ghost Dash and Ghost Ogre. So it's it's kind of like there, there really isn't too many OP cards out right now. You know, it's like everything has a bounce. You know, not every, you know everything is like stoppable. So and, you know, it's not like you know, uh, Gateway has. Although Gateway does have, you know, some crazy loops, you know, it's like, you, you can always just stop me in the middle of my summons. If you just torrential, uh, tri torrential tribute me at the right time, I'm kind of going to be forced to end my turn, you know, unless, we, you know, we get one of these new six samurais in your graveyard. Um, or, you know, if you kaiju my Shien and then uh, Raigeki my board, you know, it's like, I, I just spent all that time for nothing, you know. It's, it's really easy to stop. And the deck is going to have to be real aggressive, too, because... Um, with the whole loops and everything, it's like w w it's going to be harder to um, play back row because a you're going to have more protection in your own, you know, within the monsters of the archetype. You're going to have more protection, you know, from the graveyard. So it's it's always going to be helpful to. Um, so it, it may not be as helpful to run trap cards because you know, um, trap cards could slow you down versus those monsters. They don't really slow you down. They may, you know, they may brick once or twice, but they won't slow you down as much. And, um, yeah, I, I feel like now is the best, it's, it's better than ever, you know, now it's a good time to really bring back Gateway. I mean, especially since, you know, we're, it's going to be the first ban list of Link era, you know, uh, this August. Um, you know, we could st really start to turn a new leaf and really, I, I think this next ban list from a TCG Konami really has to be something amazing. Because with this ban list that we saw from the OCG uh, for July 1st, it, w it was actually pretty, pretty damn crazy. And TCG Konami, like, it just outshined, you know, TCG Konami for, like, what, what they've been doing for the past few years. Simply because of how uh, the, their management of the ban list just isn't really working well or isn't really sitting, uh, sitting well with the rest of us because they're not doing enough with it. Because if we wait seven months for a ban list and then they only hit like a few things and maybe bring back cards that nobody cares about, like <laughs> everybody's going to be disappointed versus when there's one every three months and we know when the next one is coming. We know um, that, you know, even if this one is uh, kind of bad or, you know, not really that, that helpful, you know, for um, changing the format or um, making the format different. Um, you know, we at least know, okay, it's only three months until another one, you know. That's not the case with the TCG, unfortunately. Unless they start to really do, um, you know, like they start to give us estimates, you know, to say, because, you know, like now they said uh, it's going to be sometime around August, you know, maybe when the August list comes out, they say, oh, you know, next list, you know, sometime around November or sometime January, you know, just look out for it, you know. And... If they were to do that, I think that would be a little more acceptable than just not telling us at all. Just say, oh, we'll we'll ha we'll upload it when it's ready. It's like, when will it be ready? You know, it's like, what what factors actually go into making a balance that takes so long to consider? I guess it's because the TCG is such a bigger, um, has such a bigger uh, number. Like, there's way more people in the TCG than there is in the OCG. So the TCG has uh, has to do more management. It has way more factions. There's Europe. There's South America. There's North America. Um, so it's understandable, but it, it is still disappointing at, uh, at certain times. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's all I have to say for now. I mean... I, I really do want Gateway back. I mean, there's I, I don't think there's enough of a reason not to bring back Gateway at this point in time. And, um, yeah, uh, I guess Konami really should get their stuff together. TCG Konami, anyway. Uh, anyway, so that's all I have to say for now. This was Nistro here. Nistro, out.